want to know why some people are more scared than others. You know, why people have more fear than others, you know, of the hell. Uh, it's because um, some people are stronger minded than, than others. Then some people that were indoctrinated with the hell that scared them all their lives. And then some people, no matter what, if they were indoctrinated and they grew up to adults, they're just too strong minded and they never have fear. So it's a, it's a combination of three things. Um, you know, all, we're all different. All our brains are different. Um, you know, the genetics experiment we are. The mutation, the cancers, the abnormalities. It's kind of a, you know, um, sort of a random process. So, um, you know, I guess all brains are not created equal. <laughs> I can say that. But some people are, are have stronger uh, minded than others, you know. And that's and that's what me is, you know, because um, I, you know, I see the hell as ridiculous. I see see all this stuff as fantasy, demons and Satan and. Uh, you know, um, so many religions, so many different versions of hell. And bottom line, you have to ask yourself, why is a, why would a, a God just punish you for not believing? <laughs> I mean, that, that, that's that's so stupid, you know. And, and the reason why is because it's man-made and they try to put people fear. So, um, you know, it doesn't matter if we don't know it all, how it all started. And it doesn't matter if we, if we would never ever, ever explain it. There's, it's stupid to live your life in fear. There's too many religions, too many versions of hell and heaven. And the, the the way the system works is whatever religion you believe, that's the heaven you get. Or whatever religion, you know, um, well, I guess if you stop believing the religion, then you go to the hell, because there's different versions of hell too. It, it, it's stupid. There, there's nothing to fear. It doesn't matter if we'll never explain it all. <laughs> I mean... It, it just doesn't matter. It's it's a stupid thing to to, to be fear of, you know, of, of things that are, that are I you know I see as imaginary Satan, demon, glob, goblins, and gremlins, and and anyways that exist. I I I'd like to see some goblins and gremlins and icky dicky demons and <laughs> something out of a movie, right? Okay, so there's this other thing about um, this. Uh, if there's an if there's other species out there, would they look like in the movies like different aliens? Um, so so basically, bottom line, don't be scared of the hell. It's it, you have a win-win situation. There, there's nothing to worry about. You just live your life, and you know, whatever happens, happens. You know, that's it. I mean, there's nothing to fear. Don't live your life in fear, because it's it's. It's no evidence, and it's it's stupid, you know, to to believe uh, to have to believe in a god because the god will just punish you like a bully. That's that's what it boils down to—a bully. It's it's so stupid. Um, okay, anyways, yeah, I, I can just keep on <laughs> going on with that forever. But uh, about the different um, species, it's um, who knows how many species out there. Like I said, ten percent now, but we're getting more powerful telescopes in, in very soon that can go way, way past looking the most powerful like we've ever done interstellar and uh, like I said, it's just going to get more crazy, more advanced in technology the years to come, like I said it, we're probably going to be able to explain all this and I think the believers will, will find out when there's absolutely no God uh, you know um, uh, um, well years to come they'll probably be Maybe laughing at themselves, or um, maybe they will, will be scared. I, I don't know. How, I think maybe they'll be scared or, or happy or, or laughing. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it, 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 it's it's stupid laws. You know, you, you have to shave your hair, and it's all this. You can't eat certain food. You can't masturbate. <laughs> it's just so stupid. Um, it is definitely created by humans. You know, there's nothing to worry about. It's, it's so fucking retarded. Even a retard will say this is retarded. I, I I can't. I have to cut my hair. I can't get a tattoo. I I can't masturbate. 
that, that that's how, how it would boil down to. Even a retard would say this is retarded. You know. Um, the concept of hell and punishment and eternal threats is so stupid. Um, <laughs> but, um, so, you know, like I said, they say 10% now, you know, because obviously we can't see our telescopes way farther, but, but at least 10%, you know, they're, they're, out, they're out there. Now, whether they look like us or whether they look like in the movie, Little Green Men or a combination, um, I guess that's what we'll find out. Um, and, um, and how weird if, if it, if we went to another universe, well, this is actually the theory that we go to another universe, but like the parallel universe and we could see ourselves, you know, but we can't change events in the past yet, I, I believe, but, but maybe like in the future, anything's possible. Just imagine like years from now, we go have some alt, alt, altering time machine. I mean, I'm serious. I mean. Because you can't stop technology and science, you know, we'll have maybe like a time machine, we just can fucking go all around the cosmos, and we can have like, new ways to create shit, I don't know, dark energy, dark matter, convert that shit into fuel or something, vaccines, so I think it's good we're going out there, because if we can find these alien parasites in Jupiter under the water, you know, we can, you know, maybe create vaccines to help humans. Uh, maybe we can finally get rid of cancer forever. We can get, we can have a, uh, a cure that maybe people can live forever. We can cure any disease. So I think it's it's great um, to to go out there to to find out what's out there, and uh, maybe um, if we found species, they they can just have, you know, they could show us brand new laws. You know, like suddenly the ball goes up and the ball won't come down. It just stays up there. You know, freaky shit. And then we can just take all that kind of technology, bring it to, to Earth, and, you know, I mean, the sky's the limit. So I, I, I think there's great potential and opportunity, you know, whether we meet species, whether we, or we find just alien parasites or microbes in the water. Because if they said there's an ocean under Jupiter, you know, that's confirmed. And with an ocean, there's going to be things flying, I mean, swimming. And, and <laughs> so... Um, like I said, the, the evidence, I think, for aliens is going to be coming soon, you know. Um, I mean, there might be aliens way out there, not like other galaxies that we make them, but at least um, if there's ocean, and there was an ocean once on Mars, but there's an ocean on Jupiter's um, moons, that's confirmed. And if, once they drill in the ice, they're, they're going to find um, things swimming, um, unknown species. You know, um, so it's, uh, that should be interesting. And then, we you know, um, um, I remember, remember the movie Prometheus? Remember when they, when they found like these, remember that, that, that on the speed in the water, remember that was like the alien they found? It wasn't a walking alien, but it was like a, like an animal alien, but it was like so deadly. It was like nice but then it, the way they killed the guy was like so vicious so it's gonna be freaky you know uh what's under jupiter's waters you know these these different kinds of species um maybe um um you know maybe maybe these species are just you know i don't know like fish like we have fish on earth maybe they're just fish in the in the ocean you know i mean there could be like some deadly ones obviously but <clears throat> Maybe all this, the sci-fi stuff that we see in the movies is, is not, these alien, these, these alien uh, organisms and, and, and just aliens in general are just not as vicious as we think, you know, maybe they're just another form of animals for now, you know, until we, we go way out there and find those 10% walking, talking like us. And then obviously we can, um, once we, we're, we're getting those telescopes where it's going to get more advanced that we can just look way out the interstellar into detail so the future is going to be very bright indeed um Haw but hawking said that you know the artificial intelligence can go more advanced than the human brain and it could be destructive and this seems like it's something out of a movie remember the terminators were against the humans hawking said that could happen hawking thinks these walking talking aliens are are dangerous 
So, um, maybe it's good they don't visit us. Um, but, but I think if they know us already by now, wouldn't they probably want, would, would at least try to take over Earth? You know, I don't, I don't think these aliens would be, you know, because if they're so advanced more than us, what would they need from Earth? They have more advanced stuff than us, you know? So I, I don't, I mean, I don't think they're, they, I mean, they would have come already by now, obviously. If they can, because in, in their craft, they can just fly super, super crazy speeds. They would have probably already come by now. Um, now that takes it back to the Roswell case and uh, in the 50s and the crash. And, um, you know, these, these, um, these, uh, did that happen, you know? Was that one time they came? And then we have the alien drawings and pyramids. Did they come one time at Earth? Way before. Maybe. Maybe they decided not to come again. And then, um, or maybe that's just made up. So I guess we'll see. Um, but like I said, I mean, they would already come by now. I mean, <laughs> so either they don't have, we don't have anything they want, you know, because they're just too advanced. I think we don't have anything they want. Um, so, I mean, unless maybe they have a galactic conflict with another alien species and they need our help, I guess maybe they would come. But I just, I, I, I don't think they're coming. Um, I think we got to go there to visit them. Um, way over there. So, so that's the cool thing. So we're going to Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, and they said they have uh, waters in these places. So there's bound to be some alien organisms there. And uh, what we can, ex you know, find and extrapolate from this could perhaps be beneficial. Um, because, I mean, we found animals that we use cat pee um, to cure some diseases, believe it or not, I mean, or cat manure. We used uh, bugs to cure some diseases, like uh, ticks and, and stuff. Um, so from drugs to insects to aliens to cure our bodies' illnesses, it's pretty fascinating and, 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 and gross too. But um, So this means perhaps these, maybe these alien um, uh, um, organisms, microorganisms, parasites, uh, fish, whatever, more likely fish, I guess, in the water, obviously. Yeah. Um, Maybe we can see what they have to offer. Because if we have alien DNA or in our bodies, we have like junk DNA, you know, that's un that, um, that these uh, aliens, you know, genetic experience made us with, with uh, back parasites and bacteria. Maybe we can get rid of that, you know? Maybe we can help our bodies with these, you know, these uh, alien parasites and, and Jupiter. So it's going to be very, very interesting. Um, What's in, what, what what kind of um, I assume fish uh, fish is float is is um, um, what kind of species um, is is in uh, Jupiter uh, under Jupiter's oceans and um, and uh, and then we're gonna look towards the asteroids because asteroids have water too that um, the scientists thought think that that's what brought water. There's so many different theories, you know, with the water, the earth water. There's, there's actually sun water on the sun, believe it or not, which is steam. So there's there's just a lot of a lot of things, and um, obviously, the more powerful telescopes we get, that's going to help tremendously. Not only that, the technology, and um, I, I think it's possible we can solve all this in our lifetime, because um, we we still have a long long ways to live. Obviously, I do. A lot of people do. And um, the technology is getting very advanced, very very fast. We're we're, we're you know we've got the NASA warp drive in, in development. We've got these advanced telescopes. We got you know and probably who knows what other technology. Um, we got flying cars now, believe it or not. Finally, um, it, um, we got flying like people with with the rocket ship that can fly. So I think. I think it's gonna, gonna get very interesting and bright, and um, um, I think maybe once and for all we we, we can solve this. Um, you know, we found more things about dark energy, dark matter. We got our Earth has a shield, um, and obviously the comet that the water that wasn't from Earth, it's from another, it's alien, 
it's somewhere this 